You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. Hey everyone, welcome hey. to Haunted Hour. Welcome to Haunted Hour, everyone. <laughs> I'm Indra Sahib. I'm Noel Boyd. Uh, usually what happens, right, <laughs> is that Indra counts me in. Yeah. And then... He did like this WWE uh, wrestler, uh, no, uh, the the referee, referee count, yeah. right? Ten, <laughs> my, yeah, and then he stopped at six, and I was looking at him like, when are we gonna go on air? Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, but okay, here we are. Finally, yeah, the rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are back, right? Yeah, yeah. we are back, man. We are back after uh, a week. Yeah, uh, man. It feels like it, it feels like a month, man. Yeah, you had your your reserves, right? Yeah. How was that? Uh, it was very, 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 very the lepa. You're not supposed to say that on air, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, man. I, I, I think some of my uh, NS buddies are viewing this as well. <laughs> okay, guys. If you did your reservists with, with Indra, Indra, can you please tell me what kind of soldier he is? <laughs> yeah, hey, no, uh, yeah. not on on this live show. Uh. <laughs> no, I really want to know what kind of soldier is he? Is he the hardworking kind? That hey, uh, our country needs, do, or or is he the guy that is just full of crap and then does nothing? Do you know? Do you know that in two thousand seven, during my active days, right? Mm-hmm. I won the best soldier award. Best really? soldier award, no bro. Yeah, but that was then, two thousand seven, lah. I when when you walked in just now, <laughs> it right. looks like it looks like twenty fifty seven, right? <laughs> it looked like you gained weight within a week. <laughs> eh, my God, see, see. <laughs> Still fit, okay. It's a conspiracy. Upper, upper body, ah, uh, upper body only. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like your nose. Your <laughs> so how's your week been, man? Ah, uh, as usual, very busy. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, just been been really active. I had this eye infection. Ah, no ma, don't yeah. look at me. Don't look at me. No help, please. No, it's fine now. No, but then, but then it was very painful. Okay, uh, and you know, it was difficult to even get out of the house mm. because you know, like with the sunlight and all, it, it hurt. And uh, but is you know, it, is it just okay no, is, it, is it just a normal infection or what? Uh, abnormal. Abnormal. Yeah, abnormal. I think I think a spirit might 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 creep into your eye, man. Exactly. Yeah, it's gonna go into your eye later, and you're gonna bring it back home. I I hope you have the third eye. <laughs> <laughs> If not, you become war eye, ni. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that that's very cheesy. Sorry, ah, uh. <laughs> things very lame. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bro. What's what's uh in store for us tonight? Uh, mm. tonight, tonight, tonight's interesting because tonight, mm. uh, little later on, uh, we don't have him in the studio. Okay, so most of our uh our shows now, right? When we go live, mm. we're gonna call uh the guests. So, uh, that's the new format we'll be working with. So we're gonna call yep. Johnny later. Yeah, and he was a scare actor at um. Well, he was scare actor at Sentosa, right, for ah. Universal Studios and uh, Spectacular. So I he's going to share with us his experiences, mm. uh, and yeah, so so we're going to hear from him maybe in about 20 minutes. I told him we will call him at 10 o'clock. We've never done th- done this live on air before. Yeah, man. Right. So today's going to be the first time. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So since we're just starting out the app, uh, what we want you guys to do is to like this post that that. The uh, live feed is on right mm. in the stream, and also share it because it will help us reach out to more people. Yes, and for those of you who love and admire and truly treasure our content that we bring in every week, week in week out, we sweat for this content, man. All right, if you really treasure us, please do not forget to buy us a coffee at www dot buymeacoffee dot com slash gfs tv. Yeah, I, I mean that really helps us. Yeah, um, we we don't earn much from uh, the buyers coffee, but mm. you know it, it helps us. It motivates us. That's for one, mm. and um, it helps cover some costs with the uh, with the show. You know, we got a, a website that we pay for every month. Yeah, um, and it's for all the the little things, right? We we're not here to make a living doing the show. Yeah, yeah, not yet, lah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, maybe like in in fifty years from now. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so if you guys can do that, that'll be awesome. Um, okay, that's something I want to plug. Mm. I, I just signed on um, yesterday to to host the show that's going to happen in April, right? Mm. It's the first four Thursdays of April. So mm. the first one happens on April's Fool's Day. Wow. Right? Okay. Yeah, but, but it's not a joke, no. It's like, we're really going to go live. Mm. And um, it's called the Music and Mental Health, mm. right? It's going to be a live stream. And like I said, it's going to be the four, uh, first four Thursdays of April. And uh, it's supported by MCCY. Mm. And it's going to be streamed on the Underground Facebook page. And you can tune in to uh, see prominent local musicians share their untold stories. And of course, you know, you're going to get inspired by it. And we're going to do uh, giveaways. We're going to share heartbreaking stories, funny stories. And of course, really good live music. Mm. Okay, so this is going to happen the first four Thursdays of April. I'm going to uh, put a link up on the GFS Facebook page so you can uh, watch it. Yeah, it's uh, mental health is something that's very yeah. dear to me. Mm. I mean, um, I was diagnosed with clinical depression, mm. as many of you know. So being able to, to host this, um, yeah, it's just really, really awesome. I mean, uh, I think this is also... Uh, a way for us to uh, try to share the knowledge or probably at least get the gist of it uh, yeah. of this topic mental health I think not not many people out there really know about this topic yeah no I I, I think people know about it mm. right because um, you hear it everywhere like the, the suicide cases are going up yeah. you know you probably have friends who are going through a tough time but the problem with our society is that we don't talk about it because it it's Taboo. There's this stigma. stigma yeah, yeah. So I, I'm one of the few personalities that has been very open about uh, my my struggles. You mm. know, mm. Um, like I'm always a work in progress. Mm. Yeah, because you know there are days where um, hormone hormone levels are low or yeah. or the chemical imbalance, and I just struggle through the day. Yeah, true. But what I've learned is that I have to talk about it. I have mm. to tell the people in my my inner circle. Mm. Um, what a shitty day I'm having and mm. then they can relate and then they go like, okay, I think we need to talk to him more. Mm. But our society, you know, people don't talk about it because they just, they don't want to be judged. Yeah. Right? Especially mm. the the younger generation. I think they they are going through a tough time, you know, with mm. everything that's going on. Um, we might think that it's small but to them it's really, really big. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because I think due to the, uh, due to the generation gap, right? Mm-hmm. I believe there there might be a gap of understanding there. Exactly, mm. and and you have uh, got a podcast as well, which yeah. uh, you do with your wife, and mm. it's called Seekersness, Seekersness right? Yeah. And that's about mental health. Yeah, we focus men Seekersness. We focus more on mental health topics, lah. Yeah. yeah, and in fact, the the origins of that uh, that show uh, we call it Seeker Session. Um, the origin of that show is 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 about mental health, lah. Yeah, yeah, without. Without we get, I uh, mean, my wife inspired me lah, inspired me oh. to set up that show. Yeah. Right. So that's why we set up that show, talking about mental health. But yeah, uh, with with that going on also, I think it's also part of our our contribution to the community lah. Yeah. To at exactly. least give some content out there for them to hear, and like you are doing right now. Yeah. As long mm. as there is awareness. Yeah. Then we are moving in the 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 right. Yeah, direction, I mean, huh? we, yeah, we are moving in the right direction. We're mm. moving forward. Yes, yes. Because yes. maybe five years ago, ten years ago, there was no such thing. Yeah, true. Right. So anybody that goes to see a psychiatrist, whether is it IMH or mm. in a polyclinic, or if you go to Mount E, mm. you just don't talk about it. Mm. Yeah, because you don't want people to look down on you. But, but it's it's not something for people to look down at. Yeah. You know? I mean, on, if you yeah. yeah on sorry on you know, uh, I mean if you if you know someone or somebody from your circle of friends or even family members, please do not look down on them. Yeah, man. Because this is something is real. They are going through something that is real. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and something that can be treated. You know, uh, taking the right steps. You know, taking your meds. If you if you're gonna go off meds, it's mm. about having a healthy lifestyle. It's about just being positive and all. You know, yeah. but it's it's always difficult. But you know. There's so many things that that we can do, yeah. But honestly, I I admire your motivation, bro. I mean, for you to do this, uh, for for episode with them, right? Mm-hmm. Man, it's something. It's it's a it's a, it's very inspiring, lah. Oh, thanks, man. I guess man, no, no, no. This is not something that I just want to say out of yeah. s- just to say it. But I think is if you 
if you're willing to participate and and do this kind of show and give kind of, this kind of content out there for our community mm. that shows a lot on your own effort man <laughs> I mean, yeah. to make this community a, a better place for everyone yeah mm. I, I, i mean most definitely and um yeah i just hope for a lot of support because you know i know the organizers are doing a fantastic job yeah yeah it was very mm. difficult to get the fundings to do this yeah and i i admire her determination and, and her hard work wow. so to me to just come in as a host i'll be able to listen to stories right yeah and then get inspired and then share my own stories and then we get to talk to um professionals who who are dealing with folks like me mm. yeah I, i just think it's 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 going to be great april is going to be a fantastic month yeah man yeah yeah okay let's move on to hantu stuff man yeah let's yeah. go let's go let's go you know i i i last week i be, I, i feel very down last week why Yeah, because we never go live, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I miss I miss our audience, lah. Yeah, I really, was, I really miss our audience. It was very strange for me because I was at home, mm. right? Uh, on a Friday you, night, which hey, I'm never because of the you show. You miss me, not bro. Uh, yes. Come on, lah. Come okay, on, okay. La. Honestly, yes. On, yes, on, I on did. this live show, you miss me, not. <laughs> I already said yes. <laughs> What more do you want? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, but it was just weird, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then. Uh, some people were texting me saying that that their Friday seems different. You know? Wow, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> so touching, ah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I really appreciate uh, for all our viewers out there who always tune in and uh, to 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 us week in week out, right? On uh, on our podcast on that hour. Yeah. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thank you, guys. Thank you. What should we do next? Terrifying trivia. Okay, let's do terrifying trivia. Let's go. Um, we're gonna talk about this place. Mm. Uh, earlier, a buddy of mine, Jack, mm. uh, he left a a comment, but it disappeared too fast. Anyway, he lives right next to this place. It's called Nittel Quilin. All oh, right. right uh, and our good friend Panji was talking about this when he was on the show. Mm. Uh, Nittel Quilin is uh, a nature park, mm. um, and. Okay, where's my script? <laughs> Get your script ready, bro. No, it, it's all jumbled up. I don't know what happened. Okay. Who the hell prepared this for me? Okay, okay. it says here. Okay, let's go. Okay, we go back to to the photos. Let's go. The park was created from a disused granite quarry. Mm-hmm. Uh, as such, it has a re- resemblance to the granite rock formations in Quilin, China. Now, that's why it's known as Nittel Quilin. Hmm. The park was a granite quarry for extracting a form of norite called gomba norite. Now, the name of this area, Bukit Bato, which means coughing hills, was derived from the sounds of quarry activities. Nittel Quilin was once a quarry supplying much of Singapore's granite needs until it was abandoned in the 1980s. Rainwater that was collected in the depression over time turned it into a uh, turned the quarry into a lake. Now, in 1984, the Housing and Development Board developed Nittel Quilin into a park, which is what it is today. Mm. Now, according to um, our research here, the island's strongest rock formation is found right here at the Gombak Norite, mm. uh, where the rock is tested to be more than 10 times stronger than concrete. Wow. And uh, it also contains rock formations that are a million, no, that are millions of years old. Although Singapore's oldest rock is found at Pulau Tokong's Sajahat Formation, mm. which is estimated to be 300 million years old. Interesting stuff, huh? Wow. Uh, Nittel Quilin's highest point reaches 133 meters, making it the second tallest hill in Singapore after Bukit Timah Hill. Mm. Uh, and if we didn't know about Bukit Timah Hill, it is also a huge block of granite standing at 163.63 meters above sea level. Now, urban legends in Singapore say that the park is haunted by the spirits of those who died in accidents while working at a quarry, or those that have drowned in the lake. So, we're looking at one of the photos here of SCDF personnel. I believe in this photo they are trying to save someone that is in the water. Mm-hmm. Now, there have been many sightings of spirits around Little Quilin, most notably a ghost of a young female that wanders around a grass slope that leads to the lake. She is said to be aggressive and has been known to possess victims. Wow! Yeah, man, this place is very historic, man. Yeah, it is. Mm. Um, it's beautiful though. It's beautiful mm. in the day. So when my friend Jack uh, yeah. brought me out to 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 see this place when we just moved to Bukit Batok, mm-hmm. um, it was it was very interesting because 
the rock formation itself looks like not Ganesha because you can see this white outline. Yeah. yeah so mm. so it looks like an 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 elephant. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it because I'm moving out of Bukit Batok soon. Uh, yeah. So, but um, yeah, I, I don't go there often enough, but I do mm. pass by once in a while. Mm. Yeah, but it's very quiet. I don't know how it is at night. I I've never done anything there at night. Uh, why? I guess we we is, is it is it a uh, no boundaries? Uh, no, no. You can, area? you can. I mean, okay, okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, just we just never got around to doing anything there. Mm. Yeah. Do Do you think Do you think that place is haunted at night? I would think so. I. Almost everywhere, right in mm. Singapore, is haunted. Mm. Yeah, we we went to a particular club. I can't mention where it is because yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. But <laughs> it's in the western or the southern part of Singapore, I guess, near mm, okay. Sentosa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So so friends asked us out, and mm. then yeah, um, we were there. Mm. And then in the day, it's very nice, but at night, yeah, near the toilet area. Near this particular bar, wow! I cannot even say anything. Uh yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, you can feel that there's presence there. So then I did, mm. I did my homework, mm. and then I found out that the Japanese used that place during the war. Mm. Yeah. So I was wow. like, hmm, Japan. The the Japanese were everywhere. True, man. True, man. Uh, I also encounter one place mm-hmm. during my active days NS. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, where. Okay, I cannot mention where, <laughs> but I know it's the west side of Singapore. Okay. Okay, so it's nearby, near nearby, uh, somewhere at you know Chuachukang. There has a police guard there, right? PCG, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, West Coast. I oh, forget it. There's at the end. There's a police guard, uh, a police coast guard, uh, HQ there. So right before that, there's a very big registration. Uh, swarm area. Mm-hmm. Okay, we I I I still remember this when we do our twenty four route, twenty four click route march there. Mm-hmm. My sergeant used to tell me, "Do you know that this place is haunted? This very veg- that this very thick vegetation is haunted." Mm. So I asked him why. Say that bring the Japanese occupation. This is a place where they enter and kill many of our soldiers. Mm. Mm. And In that area is all swamp, swamp area. So history has, I uh, mean, they 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 say that in 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 the past when the Japanese invade, right? They invade through the sea area. Kranji. <laughs> Can't mention. <laughs> Sungai Bolo. <laughs> so they invade in this area. <laughs> okay. So they 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 walk through swamp for one week, lah, bro. Yeah, they walk through the swamp area for one week. Yeah, because the Japanese mm. attacked from the Kranji area, mm. right? The 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 British and the Allied forces always thought that yeah. it's going to come from uh, the other side where where Labrador Park is, mm. and then the Japs, of course, came from. Uh, and that, that place is really haunted. Uh. So is it Sungai Buloh Nature Reserve? I don't know that you're talking about. I I don't know, but I know that we we walk through that place at night. <laughs> And we kind of like feel uh, the creeps, man. Okay, so Kranji is right. What we talking? Of course, right. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. Okay, okay. okay let's we go, will let's talk go. about this off air. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's do the real or fake segment. Yeah, let's do uh, okay. it, man. Mm. Um, I've seen this video so many times. Okay, because it, it's not a recent video, but I just want to to know what you guys think. Mm. Because I've, of course, a lot of people think it's real. Yeah. Right. Um, so this video is from a car's dash cam, and then uh, you will hear the voice of a man that is clearly terrified, terrified of whatever he sees in front of him. Wow! So I don't know whether this is good acting or is this 100% legit. Mm. Uh, when you guys watch the video, leave a comment because we want to know what you think. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, so here you see this figure of an um, I don't know entity person maybe, and it's walking towards the car. Wow! And then, what oh, is? It's quite scary walks, yeah, bro. Yeah. 
So it's a deserted road, no lamppost whatsoever. Go reverse, go reverse. And it looks like this thing that you see mm. um, has got a walking aid, right? So it's got a cane. Then he reverses. This guy probably doesn't know how, how much more can he reverse. He's, he's, he keeps... he's hit. Oh my god, they're so scary, yeah. Yeah, he's coming towards him. And then that's it. <laughs> it's it's walked down a slope. I think no, it's still by the side. Wow. <laughs> um, creepy man, creepy. Oh man, a very old friend of mine, Mark Gross, says uh, <clears throat> fake. I saw this. It's a ragging session for new police officers in some Middle East country. Oh, mm -hmm. Mark Gross. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then you know, if it's fake, mm. why would you put somebody in front of a car? Because That'd be so dangerous, right? Yeah. If I'm the driver, that was me. Mm. I would have just driven like <laughs> rev, right? And then rev the car and then gone straight on to, wow, to this wow. thing. Wow. This, man, from the look of it, right? Yes. I think uh, it looks like very, very it's like very uh, acted. It's like, mm. like it's look, it looks like it's like deliberately act, acted upon it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. The place is so, so dark. And then we've just uh, the dim light of the car, yeah. And then with the with the walk of the ghost, wow, it looks this <laughs> it looks this scary, man. Okay, what do you think, real or fake? I think it's real. Oh, you think it's real? Yeah, I think it's real. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, I'm not nothing against uh for those who say it's fake, but I think yeah, I think it's real. Hmm. Well, I thought you would say <laughs> it's fake because I I think it's fake. I'm not just saying it to to go against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's real, bro. I I don't know. Maybe it's a witch. When when, when you see the head goes down like that, and mm. and that the entity can still walk towards the car. Mm -hmm. Man, who 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 in the right mind want to want to act on that man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we have a few comments here yeah. from our lovely uh, live viewers. Uh, Andy, okay, Andy said this look real. Yeah, man. I think Andy agree with me, man. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, what else? Dahlia. Dahlia Nita. Okay. Oh. Okay. This one just mentioning about Johnny. Oh, this this is this uh, is this the part where you feature Johnny? <laughs> no, yet, no, yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. You're gonna call Johnny soon. <laughs> yeah. But okay. Uh, Levi Levi Yautian. Okay. Uh, mention here. This is fake. Hmm. Mm. Okay. And we have by our lovely Ramona Sidi. Yeah. Right? Oh my God. Scary. Yeah, right? I think okay. Ramona agree with me. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not damn bad. scary, man. Okay. Uh, Linda. Uh, seriously, so scary. Uh? Macam Nenek Kebayan. I could fin. What is Nenek, nenek Kebayan? Nenek Kebayan. Uh, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Linda. Nenek Kebayan, is it Pontianak? Or mm. is it a a myth where in the Malay community where uh Nenek Kebayan is associated is associated with uh with ghosts? <laughs> Did I say it right there? Yes. <laughs> okay lah. <laughs> <Brr. laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I have a few more. You can laugh first. Okay. I have a few more. <laughs> what, what did you read the one by by uh from Panji? Oh Panji, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, wait, I read from Vanessa first. That ghost seems to have a shadow that can be seen at one point. Thing is fake. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we, we talk about it a, a lot of time. Shadow. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, Panji. Panji Tengkora is an is an old lady like witch and not a ghost. I will ref my car and bang it down. <laughs> Can see the feet still on the ground. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. Ah, I mean, I even if it's a ghost, right? I don't have the heart to bang the ghost down. Oh, I would have, man. If it's a witch or whatever, right? If it's in front of me, I'm yeah. driving. I would have knocked it down. I I don't know. I feel so. I, I mean, I I have this kind of empathy or this kind of. I mean, I'm 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 quite soft as a person, lah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see a ghost. I will not like punch or what, lah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the ghost probably slap your face. I, I will try to slow talk with the ghost. Hey, like ah, uh, don't don't disturb me, ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, Nenek Kebayan. Okay, Nenek Kebayan is witch. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nenek Kebayan is a Malay term for witch. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Ali Fino Kechi. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, Daniel Ali. Yo. Oh my. I felt the chills when I saw this, but I guess it's 50-50. Because mm-hmm. Noel is right. Who would want to stop by just because of the entity walking to you instead of just drive away? And not to look back. Yeah, yeah but I then think, you know hmm. some people um, <clears throat> they freeze when when they are in fear. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's been so many incidences of people that not being able to react. You know, at, yeah. at a speeding vehicle towards them. You know, just just one example. But yeah, when when they fear, when they are overcome with fear, then hmm. they just can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could have been the case. Wow, it's really scary, man. Yeah, wow. Um, And thank you for for those who are who who are viewing at the same time, also commenting on uh, on this real or fake. That's right. Yeah, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so for the conclusion is, it's fake. I don't know. Real, fifty fake, fifty. Real. Yeah, fifty fifty. Yeah. I mean, we we'll let everyone decide. Man, um, just give you the rest, huh? Yeah, I I I think it's a if it's if it's anything, right? Mm. It's not a ghost, but it's a witch. That that's why I feel. Mm. Yeah, which is possible, lah. That's why I say. That's why I say it's real. Um, mm. I I need to do some shout outs, guys. Yeah, um, let's do it. Some folks have bought us coffees. Hey, they're really really nice. Uh, Baduge Shanta bought us three coffees. She says, uh, or he says, I I'm not sure. Uh, you guys are doing an exceptional job. Keep up the good work and enjoy the coffee. Mm. Um, Burke bought two coffees and says, enjoy, bros. Wow! And Vanessa T brought us three coffees and says, uh, "Just came back from a stay at Sentosa, and tonight's app is on Sentosa." Cheers to the Hantu Bros! Thank They're you. Giving us great content every time. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Well, Hantu Bros, ah, uh, that's a good, that's a good uh, name for us, eh? Yeah, remember Chris was on the show, and then he gave us that name, the the, the Hantu Bros. Yeah, yeah, we got to trademark this soon. Mm. What uh, is is good, man? That that Hantu Bros give us a. Uh, Give us. <laughs> why? Why you laugh? Why you laugh? No, he, he just looked over at me and then he did this. Oh, where's my hand? Yeah, he did this. No, no. Uh, I, I'm signaling to you. Say that. Uh, uh, I, I think later we will, we will try to call Johnny. <laughs> we, in five minutes, uh, in five minutes. <laughs> if Johnny, you are, if you are watching live, okay, do, don't forget, uh, don't forget to pick up the phone. Yeah, man, Johnny, we're counting on you, bro. I don't want to be stuck with this nut job for the next what hour, half an hour. <sighs> okay, but uh, yeah, you were saying <laughs> I wasn't even saying anything. <laughs> you you were middle of something just now, right? No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let, let's talk about Sentosa. This is gonna call Johnny, right? Mm, okay, okay. So I remember, right? This this one is nothing about ghosts, though. I mm. I went for. Sentosa Spectacular. Okay. This was what many years ago. And unfortunately, they invited me for this event. It was the media night. Okay. Right? So they had It's many um, years ago. Yeah, they had celebrities, they mm. had um producers, directors and all. Mm. And then there was a lot of drinks before this. And yeah. then when we they finally brought us for for the tour, right? Um somebody pointed out that I'm a paranormal investigator. So okay. then they said that I should lead This group of media people, yeah, into this, so I should be the first one. Mm. Now, as many of you know, I'm not afraid of ghosts, but I'm terrified of humans dressed as ghosts. Oh my god! Yeah, so it was just a very bad experience for me. Mm. I don't like it when people jump out and uh, scare you. Yeah, I like doing it to people, but I don't like it done to me. Damn. 
And then, so I last, so there's like, I think four different sectors, right? Mm. So I did the first one, the, the, and then it was horrible. Mm. And then I did the second one. And then I told myself that I need to leave this place ASAP. Because they, Why? they, they had, I think this one was a Thai director. So they had, um, Shutter. So Shutter was the first uh, sector that I went to. Ah. And then the second one was uh, P-Mark. Okay. And then, yeah, I was just terrified and then I had cold sweat and all. And it doesn't help that I was like drunk. <laughs> and then <laughs> I told myself that I have to leave. But I cannot tell people that, I, that I'm that i afraid. That's why I'm leaving. Mm. And then so I came up with the excuse that I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> 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 Knowing that the toilets were far away. Yeah. And I remember seeing the toilets at the entrance. So I left mm. and I, I, I never went back. <laughs> and the people were texting me like, yeah, no, are you are you going to be done soon? Wow. And when they were texting me, I was really in a taxi on the way home. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just due to the alcohol, bro. No, no, no. Hey, but mm. you know, let me think about this. Let me think. Okay. Slowly, so I slowly. Stayed, I stayed at a hotel once. At mm. Sentosa, we I stayed there for about a week and a half. Wow! And every night, at maybe about eleven, no, at about one plus in the morning, at the exact same time every mm. night, the doorbell would ring. Game, just once. Mm. So every night. Yeah. So I, I think strange. I think like the fourth time or the fifth time, I say, you know what? Because it's always the same time, right? I'll just yeah. stand at the door. I'll look out the peephole, mm. and then the doorbell rang, but there was nobody there. So I don't know. Whether it was a um a problem with the with the wiring, but then you know every night at the same time the doorbell would, would ring. Mm. Yeah, strange man. Yeah, wow. but um I cannot mention where it is because you can get sued. We can, <laughs> and because the the owner of that resort is is not a nice person. Okay, don't. Yeah, don't he's don't, definitely don't. not a nice person. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> he gives a lot of the bars there uh, problems because the music's too loud and all, and because he stays. On the property Nearby. itself. No, yeah. on the property. Mm. Yeah, but uh Sentosa is actually known to to be haunted, like the, the beach area. Yeah. Uh where the golf course is, right? It's where a lot of um of soldiers were killed. And then they had the heads put on 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 wooden poles. Mm. Right. So that's the 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 golf course at um at Sentosa. Mm. And then Siloso Beach itself has had a lot of drownings, you know. Yeah. I remember the I think it was the first zoo cow. Where where somebody drowned? Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, mm-hmm. that's that's real. That's real shit, man. Yeah, but if it's not true, I'll blame my mother in law because she told me the story. Because <laughs> my mother in law used to run Sunset Bay at uh ah, yeah, at Sentosa. Yeah. I see. And to man to make the fact more clearer, I think uh, Sentosa is used to to be named uh Pulau Belakang Mati, right? Mm-hmm. It means an island where the soldier has been hung down by from their back. Right, I mean they are, they 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 face death, but not from the front, from the back. How how do you get that from just translating three words? Pulau belakang mati. Uh, pulau mati. belakang mati. All right. Uh, pulau is island. Island. Mati is death. Belakang is behind. Oh, behind. So I cannot say uh, island island death behind. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything, right? Yeah, but so, most of the stuff you say don't mean anything as well. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Doki. So we have Johnny on the line here. Oh, he so, is on the line. So should we bring him in? No, no. Yeah, huh? yes, please, <laughs> please. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give Johnny a call right now. So you say he's on the line? Yeah, I'm gonna give him a call first. <laughs> okay, hello, Johnny. Hello. Hey, Johnny. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. You, you're actually very soft. Yeah. Is it yeah. is it possible to speak up? To wear my earpiece. Okay. Ah, yeah. You, you need to wear earpiece, bro. Yeah, earpiece will be good. Yeah, clear. While you are on your earpiece. Yes. Should we sing him a song? No. <laughs> no singing is allowed on this show, man. We don't want to lose viewers. <laughs> okay, okay, but yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, we can hear you. Which part of of Singapore are you at now? Woodlands, and you just had your exams today. Yeah. So how how were the exams? Quite stressful. I bet, man. But I'm sure you're gonna yeah. do well. I hope so, lah. 
Okay, let's talk about um about Sentosa. So you were a scare actor at both USS and the Spectacular, right? Uh, only Spectacular. Ah, okay. Staff at USS. Ah, okay. So how was it like working Spectacular? Uh, okay, like overall it's fine, but uh, otherwise the paranormal things there was quite a lot of happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and. The environment wise when it's at, at night, right, especially after twelve AM, the energy becomes very bad now. It's mm. not a very good place to be like when you want to be at night. Yeah. Mm. And and this would uh, happen after twelve AM. Maybe generally it's like that, but I feel it gets worse after twelve. Mm. Yeah. Especially we are uh, the the part the place closes around two, if I'm not wrong, one or two o'clock. Okay. So by the time we finish everything, wrap up will be about three, four plus. So uh, usually three, four plus, it's also not very good, like, especially on the last day. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, three to four o'clock is, you know, what we call the witching hour is when yeah. uh, all these paranormal forces are usually the strongest. Yeah. And you were there for the That's very right. last one, right? In 2014, it was called yeah. Lada Land? Lada Land, yeah. Okay, so what happened so, on the last night of Lada Land? Um, okay, let me see. Uh. Um, so I'm working in uh, Tana A. So in Fort Siloso, there's actually three Tanas. So Tana A, B, and C. Okay. So I was stationed mid-section around Tana A. Mm-hmm. So it's a... Uh, it's a warehouse, I guess. It's something like a warehouse. Okay. Mm. So, me and my friends were taken to scare people, right? Uh, I was wearing this giant baby head. I'm not sure if anyone knows. Uh, then, within my rest, our resting area, there's these two mini storerooms like, where, I guess, where the soldiers used to keep their ammo. Okay. Uh, I when every time I'm resting there, right, I, I will feel like there's something looking at me from inside the tunnel, no matter uh, when it was. Uh. Mm. It just felt very creepy. Uh, yeah. So it feels very uncomfortable. Very, you, know, you get a very negative feeling. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. And I remember my friend uh, told me that, you know, it's the last day, it's very close to Halloween. We shouldn't stay here until very late. It won't be good for us. Uh. It'll be quite dangerous. So I'm like, Okay, like, we can tell manager like, when she comes around. So, we tell manager we won't feel very comfortable anymore. So, mm. we wanted to leave our area. So, she gave the permission. And I remember something made me run. I, 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 I was like walking up, but something made me run. Like, I had to get out of that place. So, I ran all the way back to the staff area. And for my friend, right, he didn't run. So, he just he walked back. But when he came back to the uh, um, resting area, he, he was in tears, uh, he was quite shocked. So I actually asked him what happened. He said that actually on the way out, uh, close to the part where we were going up to the staircase, out of the tunnel, he actually saw this giant face suddenly just appear in front of him. And he really got, uh, he got really quite shocked uh, from, from seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. So for me personally, uh, back in the resting area, I was just sitting there and my friend was like, hey, hey look at the tree, you, got, you see something there or not? Yeah, I look at the tree and I was like, oh, there's this figure, you know, that's just sitting down and watching us. So, it was quite mm. creepy. Uh. Okay, yeah. so so you saw this entity sitting down? Yeah, it's quite transparent, I guess. You can, it's whitish, but it's a human figure and you can kind of see him through him. Right. Yeah. So, usually, I tell my friends this story, say maybe it's a... Uh, the effects I say cannot be like if it's a staff area why would we put the effects there yeah yeah wow you know there was one uh, the spectacular that I went for right uh, I remember seeing this where um, the the decor I know itself was very nice and then uh, I know that on a few lampposts they hung these mannequins that, that look like the, the Pontiana mm. you know it's mm. long hair and all yeah. So I, I saw this when it was still bright. And then later on at night, um, this was I think after we did the first sector, I remember seeing that, that one of the mannequins, but then there was somebody sitting on the lamppost. And I told myself like, wow, that's actually quite cool, right? That they got an actor up there, mm. like yeah. sitting on the lamppost without like any protective gear and, and all. But then when I, 
as you know, I got closer and all, and then I saw this thing smiling at me. Wow. Yeah, but I don't know whether it's a male or or female, you know. But uh, it had yeah. short hair, and then it was, um, it was smiling at me, and then after that, it was just gone. Um, mm. yeah, but I I knew that you know it it wasn't human, and I know that that Fort Siloso area is um is very dirty. Like um, yeah, yeah it's just it's strange though. Yeah, it's strange that they put like spectacular in in the area. You know, you mm. so you put actors dressed as ghosts amongst ghosts. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I I think that's a a recipe for disaster because. These ghosts are, are going to try to to show you like you know who's the boss, ah? Yeah, who's the boss? Mm. Yeah. But do you have any other experiences at uh, Fort Siloso while you were working there? Um, I know that uh they were taking pictures for the promotional promotion of the event, ah, right? Mm-hmm. So actually, this photo made it to Facebook. Mm. So there was this uh scare actor sitting on the bench next to a cardboard house, lah. Okay. So. When they took the photo, they didn't see anything, lah. But I mean, the environment itself is creepy, already, so they didn't take it to matter. So when it was on Facebook, right, and we were looking at the photos, right, and we actually saw that a figure standing behind the scare, a wow. female figure. Oh wow! Yeah, and I I don't know if it's a photo now. We can't can't find it anymore. But it it was quite creepy, lah, to to have seen that photo. Yeah. Um, was this uh, on the Santosa's uh Facebook page or? Yes. Ah, from the mm. yeah, from their promotional page. Is that female figure very prominent in the photo? Yeah, you can actually see that it's just standing there, you know, and you know that there wasn't anyone else other than the skeleton sitting there. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So that means it's it's not a blur image, ah. It's not a blur image. It's wow. quite clear. Wow! 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 Yeah. Uh, have you been back to Fort Siloso? You know, after you did the gig at Spectacular. Uh, I did a few times. So I didn't feel very comfortable going there, like even though it's in the bright morning afternoon, it just feels different. Mm, yeah, I, I like, bet. Yeah. I I mean you know the entities that are there are are, are going to be there for a long time. Whether they were there like fifty years ago, ten years ago, yeah. they're going to be there for the next ten years. Yeah. So mm. they would probably remember you. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. And Can- and then and then like you know whatever your experience itself, I think that. That will make you feel uneasy. They can remember mm. faces, ah. I think they they remember energy, like the energy Presence, we, we emit, the the uh, aura. And that's why I think. Hmm. Wow. But it seems like for you, it seems like for you, uh, Johnny. Man, even after you encounter all this, you are not scared being a scare actor. Ah, <laughs> uh, actually, it did affect me in some ways, lah. Oh, okay, okay, I see. More, I became more sensitive to this. This uh, entities, uh, you know, I can mm-hmm. sometimes uh, feel when it's quite bad. Last time wasn't. Last mm. time I don't feel anything, but yeah, occasionally when I go to some places, I feel quite uncomfortable, and I wouldn't want to walk inside there alone. Okay, yeah. but, but how, certain how, parts of mm. sorry. But how how will you react if you start to feel that kind of energy? For I, now, I think quite mm. scared. I will stop anything, right? I'll try to get out of the area if I can. Mm, because yeah. you have experience, yeah. right, on this. Yeah. Hmm. And I think occasionally I've been seeing some things, yeah, here and there, but it's not very often, so it's still not so bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think as long as you don't let it affect you too too much, you know, like mm. as long as you've got that self belief and and you know that these things can't physically harm you, and then that mm. helps your your confidence level, and then so then you won't have too much to worry about. Yeah. Um. What else have you experienced in Sentosa? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I can share what other stories that happened in the uh, in the last day itself, lah. Sure. Wow. Every, nice. Everywhere was very messy, lah. So, uh, within the scatters, we're talking about the different tunnels, tunnels A, B, and C. Mm. So tunnel A was the theme for the swimmers. It's all Thai movies, lah. So it's the uh, it's a movie on the swimmers. Tunnel okay. B is on uh, alone. Tunnel C is on countdown. So mm. e- everywhere, everyone got quite disturbed, lah. So for my area, mm. uh, at the end of the 
the the stair house right the the scaring area right there's a uh, coffins that are there like, and there are some scares that are lying down in front of the coffins so mm. they were telling me that you know throughout the whole night or the last night especially they were getting poked by things that they don't see you know like they're just getting poked all lying down in the coffin mm. yeah uh, wow. that, that was one thing um the the team house alone right so uh in in what in, i haven't been inside so in, inside i heard there's this is, um mannequin that is left hanging there so they have this pipe to uh, so-called drain the blood from the body la. so the, the the pipe was actually working normally on the, the whole the whole night but on the last night right it's just splashing the fake blood all over the place mm. it wasn't flowing down straight it was just splashing everywhere and I think the scare they got quite freaked out also by what was happening yeah, yeah. Um, but it's strange that all this happened on the last day it's like whatever yeah. is there new or, or like, right they say okay this is the last day for all these characters. Let's give them one heck of a scare. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all in, Arua. Yeah. They're all in. <laughs> all in. <laughs> Show yeah. hand, I think and, they... And, yeah, it's quite bad. I think, mm. if I'm not wrong, one of the scare actors got possessed on the last night or so. Oh, mm. man. That's bad. That's yeah. bad. It, it was bad. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and guests were sharing that. They were, guests were telling the scare actors that they actually saw a pair of red eyes on glowing from the bushes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, wow. that that was very scary because there wasn't any light there that, that we placed, you know. Mm. So to hear that there's actually a red light, two pairs of light, you know, red color going from there is quite scary. Yeah. Yeah. And um, one of the scare actors came out with another double, you know, like a double just appeared beside the scare actor. Yeah. Yeah. So those yes. are the things that happened. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what happened in Tunnel C. I, I haven't heard much from there, but yeah, and in our resting area, we also got disturbed. Lah. So, got to start Pasar Malam Tentage, right? Mm. Uh, what happened was my friends were resting there because they are stationed there the whole night. Mm. They actually said that every night they can hear people running on the top of the tentage. On the top of the Which tentage? Is- yeah, on the top of the tentage, which is impossible like, because yeah, no one exactly. came off the run. Oh yeah, God. so everyone was just getting disturbed here and there. Mm, wow. But, yeah, I think one thing they tried to do was to, they gave out these badges to the scatters and told us to keep it with us. They, they said it had been blessed uh, by mm, the yeah. time monks. Uh. So mm. I, I, I guess it didn't really help because things still happen. Uh. Yeah, and I think generally... All of us, right, when we left the gate of Fort Siloso for the last night, the last time, right, mm, yeah. we actually felt quite relieved after we stepped out of the gate. Hmm, I, I bet, man, you know, like, because it's just leaving all that bad energy behind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, so, I have a, a yeah. comment here from mm. Marvin. I want to read it before it disappears. Okay. Um, so, Marvin says that um, he went on a night tour once at Fort Siloso a couple of years ago. And the guy told him that uh, he took part in Spectacular before. So the guy was, I think, one of the actors for Spectacular. Mm. And he said that Fort Siloso is really haunted and there's a white female entity there. Wow. I just wanted to, to, to throw control. this in. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you guys remember or do you hear anybody talking about uh, of a white female entity? Uh, maybe the one that appeared in the photo is that, that entity, I guess. Yeah, it wow. could be, right? Yeah, it could be also. It's female also, la, yeah. So it could be, la. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if this was true, but I heard that on the entrance, right, there was this, they had this gate, la, to mm. the Lada land, la, right? There was this, uh, many queen that they put at the top. I heard some friends told me that it, it moved, la, on certain nights. I'm not sure how true it was, but, yeah, there's, there's that also, la. Right. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Hmm. And it's so high up, so it can't possibly be anyone climbing up to a uh, jacket. Yeah. Mm. yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Man, Johnny, man, I just want to ask you a quick, quick question. Mm. When you finally know that you end your assignment there, right? Mm. Okay, is there any kind of routines that you would do to like feel... To get that, to get that positive energy back, because you are, you, you man, one week of that kind of hell, yeah. hell week, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
So what do you normally yeah. do, man, to to get out of that that phase? Actually, I didn't do anything. Eh. I'm just that they happen. Mm. Yeah, I didn't really do anything. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think there's something that um, any organizer should do. You know, if you're gonna hold like you know some Halloween event in a haunted area, yeah, then at least you can do is one either cleanse the place or two give proper support to the staff. Yeah, exactly. Right, you mm. know, and not have that mentality. Oh, I'm paying them, so you know, let them go sort this out themselves. Themselves, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah because there are many ways to raise raise your energy level. One. The yeah. reason why I ask, because sometimes some some people might get affected by this. One week of hell, man, it will just traumatize them for the whole life. Exactly. Yeah. I I hope that's not you, Johnny. Like you're not traumatized for mm. life, right? <laughs> no lah. But actually, <laughs> got one of the staff right in mm. charge of uh, it's actually a standard vendor, so. He's doing the costume and the makeup for the event, mm-hmm. so he did try to help us a lot to come down and you know, nice. I get a lot of experience, ah. So he did try to help us, lah. Oh, yeah. that's great. That's yeah, great. We but, need we need that kind of support, man. We need that kind of support. Yeah, but mm. for me, every time I go home from the from the work, right, I yeah. feel like I come to, I feel like there's something following me home, you know. So oh, that's I get worse. very scared, lah. Yeah. yeah, that's very bad. So yeah, I will. The bus will drop me. I'll ask the bus driver to drop me far away from my house, quite a distance, then I will walk back, lah. So. Oh, Hopefully you take. It doesn't. Yeah. You... Uh, yeah, they got shot by bus. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, just curious, which part of Singapore do you stay? Ah, uh, Woodlands. Woodlands. Mm. Which yeah. part? Like, are you near the the polyclinic? Uh, I'm near the Innova JC. Ah, uh, the reason why I ask because some some people have told me that the polyclinic in Woodlands, right? Mm. Um, it's mm. pretty haunted, like. Uh, they've seen this female entity. It's always most of the time, like it's a female entity. So, yeah. so that's what they they told me. So I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't you wouldn't live nearby there. So which is good because uh, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No lah, but I think last session you were talking about the Emirati Prison, right? Yes, correct. Emirati West. Yeah, Emirati Park. Yeah. For me, I did experience some things there also, and oh. I saw hmm. yeah, so it was a uh, Chinese New Year Eve. So I wanted to go to waterfront to watch the fireworks. So I cut through RP. So when you cut through RP, you go to the back gate. You will pass by Emirati West Prison, right? Mm. Yes, correct. So uh, I was walking down the road along Emirati West Prison. So halfway through, right, it was quite close to Chow Valley. I I heard the gate slam from inside. I I all the gates should be locked, lah. So I I heard this very loud slamming, and I was quite I was quite shocked also to. To really get to hear that sound, mm-hmm. yeah, it wasn't that windy also, so it was quite shocking. Okay. Then, as I walk down mm. to the waterfront, you, I will see another prison right opposite the road. Um, uh, I actually saw a dark figure at the top of the guard tower. Okay. Wow. But uh, do you yeah, think so, that there was human? Because there's always somebody up there, right? I think the prison is. Dysfunction really, right? I always been there in the morning, and I don't really see anyone there. Oh, I, I'm not yeah. too sure, to be honest. But then I I passed by some some prisons where, uh, you don't see anyone up in in the mm. guard tower, or whatever this thing is called. Yeah, but I I'm, I don't know. I think it's still in in operations, or maybe they move everything to Changi. I think God they knows. move everything in Changi because the prisons here are unused already. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, so I know how to do that in the morning. It is uh so called something like put a gun or something uh, But there was a dark figure standing next to it. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Okay. So those really yeah those are my experience in Woodlands. Mm. Nice. Thank you so much for sharing, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hey, you're welcome, man. Thank I, you so yeah. much, Johnny. I I I'm I'm so thankful that you agreed to do this interview because I know like. Today you were busy with your your exams and all, and then we didn't want to stress you out too much with this. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, it's okay been lah. it's been nice talking to you. It's been it's a great been nice pleasure. It's been a great pleasure. Hey. Thank you so much. Okay, I, I will I'll message you soon on uh on on Facebook yeah on the GFS oh, Facebook page okay. Facebook Messenger whatever. Uh, I'll I'll contact you after we get off air. Thank you so much. Right, you're welcome. All right, see you, Johnny. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Wow, oh, that's amazing, there, bro. Yeah, man. You know, like, I, 
I think about maybe a few months ago, I was telling yeah. you it would be so awesome if we get a scare actor yeah. to come on the show and all. And then we've we've done it. Yeah, we all thanks one. to Johnny. We have one. Yeah. Mr. Johnny. Thank you, Mr. Johnny. <laughs> yeah. But the, the the part where he explained about uh, what his crew uh, experienced mm-hmm. in, in various tunnels Hey, it's really scary, bro. Yeah, exactly. And and it's stories from not just one one Source, person, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's from like I've heard this from other people. Mm. But you know, I don't get the context and all. Then, then I you know I I can't get them get them to come on the show. But yeah. you know, at least with with this one, yeah. So we got to speak to someone. Um, mm. Lina C just bought us two coffees. Hey, thank you, Lina C. Thank you. Okay, we have we have comment here from our viewers. Okay, uh, we have from Dalia Nita. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother-in-law works at USS. So that year, there was this house where there's this passage you walk through. You're you basically you're basically walking in between two black sheets uh, where the scare actors run their hands on their sheets be from behind to scare the participants. So my brother-in-law was doing his last round of checks as a technician before the scare actors came on scene and there were hands protruding out there through sorry, pro, 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 sorry a lot of short forms protruding out through black sheets already touching without anyone there okay sorry i think no one want to sleep with really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> okay, it's a very long 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 storytelling. Okay, we have from Panji. Uh Fort Siloso when I went there during the 90s. Yeah. There was a prison like place where there uh wax figures that is believed to be POW. There. Yeah. My friend see the wax figure move its eye and we run out of the area like a flash. Are you are you Barry Allen? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I I think you know if you're young okay. and all, right? And yeah, you, yeah. If you see the this wax figure mm. move, mm. yeah, you definitely freak out. Yeah, man. What man? I think Sentosa as a whole, man, definitely that place is very history. Very, very, there's a lot of history behind it, but there is a lot of uh, entities that is unknown there. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that they're lost, and uh, you know, anytime when someone dies yeah. a sudden death yeah there's a very high chance that their uh the spirits will still be on earth for for a long time you mm-hmm. know um and i i think that's the case with sentosa with its dark history mm. yeah and yeah so yeah. with the dark history you know that's why it is as haunted as it is you know but i'm not saying any particular attraction mm. is is haunted yeah but It's a known fact that certain areas that you go to, yeah, you would you would have. Um, it, there's a high chance you will have an encounter. Mm. If you notice, right from from the from the stories that Johnny told us just now mm-hmm. and share with us, um, I mean, it, it just struck me now. I mean, I, I want to open for a discussion with you. Yeah. Uh, if if you notice, right, the entities doesn't re- reveal themselves right in right in their face. Yeah. But instead. They uh, gradually, right? Gradually, they show their presence. Yeah, you know, like protruding, trying to like uh, scare them bit by bit. Yeah, uh, I I think that's that's how it is. It's not like mm. like what Hollywood or or what your favorite horror movie shows you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. It doesn't just happen like that. Mm. If you move into a haunted house, mm. you won't know on the first day. You might feel uneasy if mm. you're sensitive, mm. but if you Are not yeah. You probably realize only like one month in or two months in. Exactly. So that's when they get stronger. They keep drawing energy from you. They keep. They would um create a lot of chaos in your house, and you start arguing with people. Do you think? Do you think the entities actually assess you as a person? Of course. Yeah, they, they're yeah, not. Yeah, they're yeah. not going to go for for someone for, strong. Yeah, yeah. they're going to go for the weakest link. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why. Relating back to what Johnny's uh, experience mm-hmm. on the last day, yeah, they give their all and they 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 narrow their target, yeah, down to the whoever is affected, lah. Yeah, and and it just could be mm. you know in the, in the area itself there could be like ten, fifteen, twenty spirits. Yeah, mm. but it could just be two 
who are who are mischievous, mischievous. yeah right and then so then they just wait it's like okay today's our last chance to play around with these guys and there's only like a few people that here that we can really scare them off exactly wow yeah okay. and then you know going back to what uh, i was saying like you know yeah. if you live in in a, in haunted, a haunted house mm. um what some of these entities do especially if it's a demonic entity okay is that they wear you down so you can be a, the most positive person but then there'll be changes in your house mm. changes in the energy and all and then you just get weaker 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 to the point where they can attack mm. so they can do it to the most positive person mm. but it that hardly happens it because when you are weak you are easy prey one but it can happen yeah it can happen but it's it's rare mm. most of the time you know when when i I've done my paranormal investigations when you, we always do a background check. Mm-hmm. And it always is, you know, the person's been going through problems and all and then mm-hmm. um so it's easy for them, easier for them to latch on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless it becomes a case where uh they want you to lose faith in your religion mm-hmm. and then they will hit we a have- family that is very religious mm-hmm. and then they make you doubt your religion. Wow. Mm. Wow. So it becomes a test. Wow. Yeah, especially like for a certain faith where mm. help isn't immediate. Yeah. Like you have got many stages in order for you to get help. Yeah. You need to and, escalate it. And then if you turn to another religion, mm. help can come like the next day. Mm. For example, you know. Yeah. And then that may make you lose faith. So, uh uh we we we've known about this for for a very long time. Mm. Uh maybe it's time that we open uh Q&A. Q&A. If yeah. you guys got questions to ask, Uh, we have comment here yeah. first from our from our viewers. Mm. Uh, okay, the tunnels from Chenda Siu, the tunnels are actually the most haunted part of the fort. Mm. Mm. Okay. Wow. Um, Marvin, I remember reading about paranormal stuff there before at Sentosa. What kind of things that you read? Maybe... Oh, he okay, he sent a link. Okay, yeah, he sent a link. Okay, uh, Panji Tengkorak, Admiralty West Road. There is a place on the hilltop. It is also hunted, but I forget the name of the road. Okay, we don't know. So, <laughs> <laughs> is there any question? Not question. Question, guys. Yeah, any questions you guys want to ask? Mm. Uh, now's the time. We got maybe about 10 minutes to mm. go before. We gotta head off air. Yeah, man. Then I'll take one lonely okay. bus ride home. This one is very unique by yeah. Steph Sim. Yo, I heard Vivo City Cinema is haunted. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Last time that 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 is a night cleaner work there says that they saw hair hell black and white hell saw hell. Okay, hmm. saw something ah uh, black and white loitering around. Wow. What? Okay, uh, Vivo. I don't know, man. I I I love Vivo City. Mm. Mm. Do, you, do you know that Vivo is near Fort Canning, right? How is it near Fort Canning? No, eh, sorry, no, no, no Mount Faber. Mount Faber. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mount Faber. Mount Faber. Mount Faber is Mount Faber is haunted. Uh, Mount Faber, from where I I I know, is haunted. Yeah, yeah. And and then there's a a mosque yeah. near Vivo City where, um. They plant okay after a lady gives birth. Uh, Radin Mas. Yeah, the placenta, right? They they bury it uh the grounds of the mosque. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that is what somebody told me. Hmm. And then right at the top of the Teluk Belanga Hill, there, eh, there's a shrine. Yes. Of a famous famous uh figure in the history books called Radin Mas. Yeah, you know, I I did a paranormal investigation there, hmm. right? Um, and we took like hours of footage, right? So yeah. it's not just one clip, but many clips. Yeah. When I got home and I needed to transfer the footage to to my laptop, it crashed. Everything's gone. It's like as though we weren't there. Yeah, wow. yeah. So I lost um, not only the video, yeah, uh, footage, but also all the, the audio. audio recordings. Yeah. But do you measure your K two meter there? Yeah, yeah. It was very active. Wow. Very very active. Because legend is. Has it right that uh, she was killed? I mean, mm. go back to history lah. Okay. Yeah, Radin Mas. I mean, I have to check on the history books first. Yeah. So I can say it out loud yeah, here. You don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah, don't say the wrong thing. But legend has it lah. 
Then uh, when we hear this kind of stories from our uncles, aunties. Mm-hmm. Mm. So okay, uh, we have uh, another. Okay, from Fu Chi Rong. Hey, my old classmate. Fu Chi Rong. Okay, any of your own army stories? No, Or I, you want to hear army stories? Ah, uh? I've shared my my army stories before. Yeah, I mean especially during the Nisun camp. Uh, Yeah, yeah, episode, yeah. Right with yeah. Uh, Christopher. Yeah, mm. yeah. I I shared that then. Maybe future, future we have more. Mm. We'll cover more of our army. Yeah, army I, stories, I, I would eh? love to do one just about like pull out the Kong and yeah. then maybe do an, another for like um, Tengah Air Base, Lim Chu Kang. Yeah, Lim Chu Kang. Yeah, we we'll, <laughs> we'll arrange something. Okay, so so long if you yeah. keep watching, uh, we will we will come up with uh, apps about yeah. uh, these different areas. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we have a question. By Daniel Ali. Okay. AGFS, yo, I got a question to ask. Does mm-hmm. taking photo of an of a entity standing just a meter away from you, just to show proof, is it a good sign or a bad sign? Well, in my field of work, mm. um, it's a good sign because then we get to prove to people that they, they exist. They uh. exist. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong. With with this, but remember, mm. every camera they have flash, right? Yeah. So would that affect? You know, I don't know. We we watch movies. You know, when when a monster being <laughs> this Hollywood movie, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm just relating here, uh, trying to have a discussion. Okay. In the movies, when you see when you take a camera, when you take a picture of a monster and right, we flash on, suddenly the monster will erupt in anger, right? That's- A gremlin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But I, I, I think when you take stuff with flash, then you can il- eliminate a lot of other factors. So that's why, like, when we do our work, we always take with flash. Mm. Yeah. Or is it better to use a night vision? Yeah, I mean, if you have technology. that, but but people don't really have that with with mm. their mobile phones, right? Everybody yeah, yeah. takes photos with their mobile phones now. Yeah, but so mm. I don't think. I don't think it's it's a bad thing. Uh, yeah. So no, it's, maybe what he meant here, maybe is it a curse or is it something that, you know, maybe for for some people, yeah, I don't want to bring back a a photo with a ghost in it. Yeah. So you if know? you don't want to bring it back, just send it to us first and then delete <laughs> yeah. it from your phone. <laughs> yeah. Because I get very annoyed, you no, know, when yeah. people tell me, oh, you know that. Last time, you know, I took a photo of this. I nearly and I took. Go. I nearly took. Oh the no, photo. no! They tell me they took. They Then took. After okay. that, I go like, oh, I get so excited. Yeah. Oh, but I deleted it. I go like, what the hell are you telling me for? Yeah. yeah. Man, that's you, just all talk and, and no that, action. Right? That's just anti climax, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I think earlier there was a comment about okay. my religion. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Lee Juan, is it? I have no idea. Okay. Have you always okay from Lee Juan? Have you always been a Hindu all your life, Noel? If not, why did you choose to believe in Hinduism? Wow! I hope it's something not sensitive to share about. No lah, okay. d- definitely not sensitive. Uh, religion is whatever we make of it, right? Mm-hmm. So, I was born as a Roman Catholic, mm-hmm. and then my family they converted. They became. They started practicing what assembly of God, and then after mm. it became Anglican, and now so I, was, I grew up very confused. Okay, because different styles, right? Yeah, it's all all Christian, but I just didn't like religion being forced upon me. So I then I told myself mm. from a very young age, mm. I will not have a religion. Mm. But what I love about Hinduism, right, which I found like, uh, in the later part of my life, mm. is that it's what it teaches is about your, it's the way of life. Right, mm. so you, you uh, the philosophies and all it it um, it made a lot of sense to me, mm. and then so I said, okay, you know, I'll just find out more, and I always find peace when I'm in a a Hindu temple. Like I always feel so peaceful. Mm. I can be there for hours, you know, mm. and um, the how it all started right yeah. was when we were working together i'm not going to ma- mention the company and mm. then i went on a trip to india do you remember this mm, okay yeah i went to goa i went to to, to mumbai bangalore and all ah, but when i was in yeah. go- in in goa mm. uh i stepped into this this temple mm. uh, i was alone mm. and this hindu priest brought me around ah i see and then he was telling me a lot of stuff you know that's going to happen to me in my life 
Like wishes came true. Yeah, but uh, of course at that point in time, I, I didn't believe him. He cannot relate lah. Yeah, mm. but then, so that, that love for for Hinduism started mm. then mm. and it just followed and yeah, it's been an amazing journey. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Um, any more? Do we have any more? Any oh yeah, more? okay, okay. Uh, we have from Lina. Uh, Lina C. Yeah, Lina that bought us mm. the coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash... GFS TV. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lina C. Uh, during the 2000s, I remember once me and my friend were talking out to the car park from Sentosa Cafe Del Mar around midnight. Wow. Yeah, it closed down. Suddenly, I smelled jasmine fragrance. And when I look at my friends, all of us do the shh mm-hmm. signing. The smell, the smell was gone after like two minutes. After we whisper, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, Sentosa. I don't remember them having um the French penny trees. Mm. Yeah, that I don't remember. But this kind of smell can exist there, right? Yeah, it can. But then you know, it's linked to the Pontiana, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. But okay, does this kind of entity have reactions? If let's say, okay, they they give you a, a small sign first, right? The signs of uh, mm. fragrant smell. Yeah, the smell. Okay, and then it picks up. But then, not always though. Yeah. Um, like demons. Yeah. You would smell. It'd be very bad. It does something decomposing. Foul, foul smell. Um, yeah. or it could be unpleasant. Yeah, smell, very yeah. unpleasant. Yeah. But with all the other stuff that I've experienced, yeah, there's mm. no smell involved. Like, uh, but it's just little stuff like you're being touched. The energy changes. Wind suddenly mm. picks up. It gets very hot, very yeah. cold, mm. uh, and then we can't explain it. Yeah, maybe those are the signs that that I am mm. familiar with. Mm. Yeah, maybe for certain individual, maybe the entities would start with a very small signals, mm-hmm. sending the smell in, right? Then slowly with the presence, mm. the touch, yeah, and so on. But looking at Lina C's uh, 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 experience in Sentosa, mm-hmm. uh, I think that there's a reaction by the entity itself. Yeah. Right after they say sorry, sorry. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Is it is it is it a way of like that? There's a reaction. Are we able to communicate in that manner with them or what? Um, I don't know. I, I was just thinking about this. Mm. Maybe mm. it starts off with this with a smell just to gauge yeah. who they are facing, ah. and then they go like, okay, this and this and this person's afraid. Then okay. now we can we Attack can uh, carry on with uh, phase two. You yeah. know, I see. Yeah, the attack. Yeah, I see. maybe, man. Mm. But I also know that. They ca- usually right the spirits. They mm. would know when, when you are fearful. They they know what kind of, of a person they are mm, they're dealing are. with. Yeah. yeah, just from the energy that that we emit. Right, mm. positive people, uh, the vibrations are very high. Wow. Negative, then obviously it's super low. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Panji have a request here. <laughs> Will you guys do paranormal at Lim Chukang? Especially Jalan Bahtera. Yeah, you, you know, I was at Lim Chu Kang the other day. Yeah. And I also can't tell you why I was there. But along this road where... Uh, so Lim Chu Kang is here, yeah. right? The farms. Mm. And then... Uh, okay. So Lim Chu Kang is here and then the airbase is here. So there's this long road where our our fighter jets can land yeah. uh, during exercises. A lot of people race. Yes. So I was along that road. Mm. And then I heard Chinese uh, prayer music. At night. Yeah, and then I was like, "What else going on?" Oh, nice. Yeah, and it just stopped, and then it will continue. Stopped, it will continue. Mm. And then, of course, my curiosity got the better of me, so I went <laughs> looking for this source. <laughs> and then all these vehicles are are, are are waiting. We were not there racing, yeah. So, yeah. uh, because that's not something I will ever ever condone. Yeah, we 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 were working. Can't tell you what. Mm. Um, so I looked for this source, mm. and then I found. The, along this railing, there was this uh, lotus looking, lotus flower looking device mm. that w- um, was attached to the, the railing. So it's this solar panel uh, thing. So it okay. would re- would repeat music. Wow! Yeah. So it would repeat these prayers continuously. I see. So I was wondering how come is it at a particular spot? It's not at at the railing where it's closer to the road. It's the one close that's facing like the farms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, wow, what's this? And then. 
Yeah. Of course, you know, you feel a bit uneasy when you come across yeah. a device like this. I'm going to, I'm gonna post the 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 video mm. uh, in the day or two if I remember. Mm. And if you know what this is about, uh, yeah, I I took the video the next day in the daytime. Wow. Yeah. Probably you should ask the the caretaker there. No, there's no caretaker. It's like road. It's just oh, it's just a road. Yeah, it's like a very long stretch of road. Wow, that's 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 even creepy, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we yeah. have uh, we have from Lee Juan here. Mm-hmm. Lee mentioned here Noel can you take us through on the time you were choked at this place you were investigating was it Kampung Wak Hassan I was choked yeah oh no 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 um, it was a cemetery at Siglap I I can't remember the oh yeah yeah the the name now uh, Kubu Kasim Kubu Kasim mm. yes Okay, so the the build up to to that night, right? We were looking for the premiere app for mm. the new season, so we did mm. a few locations, all very very mild. So, with what we do in 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 the media industry, right? If you're gonna uh, debut a a, a new um, season, mm. your first app, your episode has got to be really good. Yeah, exactly. And we didn't have that, so. What happened was I briefed the team. I said, "Okay, when we go to this cemetery, I say, club, we're gonna go all out. I don't care what you do, mm. but we're gonna make it an eventful night." And then exactly. nothing happened. Mm. So you this get- was like the the hot tempered me and the impatient me. <laughs> I go on camera and I start running my mouth. Right, I was very disrespectful. I was saying stuff like. Um, I'm gonna urinate on your grave. Mm. I was daring this um, entity, a- entities, whatever that was there, mm. right, to to prove that they're they're stronger than me. Mm. And then something happened. Like at first, I I, I suddenly felt the temperature change. Mm. Right, I was like, okay, so something's come a lot closer. And I kept repeating, you know, and I was very very rude and. Um, Suddenly, I just felt something choked me. Mm. Yeah, and it literally felt like there were hands around my neck. Wow, with, yeah. pre- with pressure. Yeah, and and you no, know, I always tell people don't do not freak out when things happen. Yeah, and I freaked out. <laughs> yeah, but of course, you know, I've grown stronger since then. Yeah, because that was so many years ago, Mm-mm. right? I think that was like what six, seven years ago. Yeah, uh, and yeah, I just fell to the ground, and then um, that wasn't the end of it because the next day when when I woke up, I had these. Handprints on on my neck, mm. so I know it wasn't my imagination. Mm-hmm. There was one, and my body felt like as though it got hit by a bus. I was in so much pain. Wow! And it was just a very bad month after that. I just had a lot of bad luck, and you know everything just was just horrible. Mm. I was arguing a lot of people. So this whatever that was there with me at Kubo Kasim followed me home, mm. and it 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 was it you yeah, mm. and you know. Looking back, I I deserved everything because I was just this <laughs> this rude dude, you know. And then yeah, I mean, when you go to someone's home, you're supposed to be respectful. Yeah. And everything changed from that day. The, the way you I conducted that. my my investigations mm-hmm. to the way um, I speak to these entities, you know. Mm-hmm. Now it's there's a lot of compassion and all. But it, it's I, I've grown lah. I've grown yeah through the years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was a bad move, man. But it 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 serve a very good uh, lesson, right? Of course, of course, valuable yeah. lesson out yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. everything in life, you know, you learn, right? So yeah. I, I I learned the the hard way. Mm, wow. Yeah. Okay, we have a few more. Maybe we take one more one more comment from our viewers. Okay, uh, Matt Ra- 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 Raham, Matt Raham. Sorry. Okay, no, uh, yeah, Matt. Hey, Matt is an awesome uh drummer. He's an awesome percussionist. Wow. Yeah. Okay, uh, he asked you a question here. There's an outs- there's an episode where you caught a ghost on footage. Love that episode and tell us about that episode and how you feel about the footage. Do the ghost follow follow you back home every time you go to investigation? Uh, brother Matt, hmm. um, I don't know which one you're talking about, man. Is it the one that we did at Labrador Park where we captured the face? Wow. Yeah. So so that one was very mm. cool because we had like all this um uh evidence that we we captured like throughout mm. the night. 
Yeah, so we split that app in, in into two episodes. So I don't know whether this is the one that... Ah, so Matt says yes. Uh, mm, what, what yes. was his question again? I, I, I lost my, my, my train of focus. Okay, uh, he mentioned about here, he asked, uh, how do you feel about the footage? Oh, do, do, you, do the ghost follow you back? Yeah, mm. I, I love the footage. I love what happened before that because... I had uh, my my wife was on this, you know. My my wife has just been a, an amazing supporter of my work, mm. so she was on this. This this dude Aaron flew in from the UK. Mm. He was on the show as well, and then we managed to speak to this ghost so, ghost soldier by the name of Bob. Wow! Yeah, and Bob kept repeating his name, you know. So uh, I don't want to spoil it too much. If you've not watched it, it's part of the uh, MM 2s uh, series that we did called Ghost Watch. Mm. Uh, And then right at the end, as we were were leaving, right the K two meter spikes, and then we really know high. okay we are we are we are not alone again. You know we we're just about to go home. Mm. We're done for the day, and it spikes, and then um the the video captures right. It's just like a millisecond, you know, of something fly by. Wow! And then so I in post production we slowed it down, mm. and then you can make out the face. So it's like the side side profile. Mm. So there's the forehead, the nose, yeah. Part of the lips, the chin, yeah, oh, that's, that's and it's real, just man. amazing. Like, wow. um, for us to capture something like that, it's so many years of hard work to <laughs> to get that millisecond. Yeah, Oof. it's it was an amazing feeling. Mm. I remember doing post production. I was sending out messages to all the people that ever worked with us. Your aesthetic, ah, uh? yeah, just to tell them, you know what, we we got this, man. You know, wow. and not just that, we got. Like a soldier mm. who doesn't know that he's dead, mm. so that could have been Bob, mm. who has got no idea that he's dead. Um, mm. And and we are telling him for the first time he's finding out that he's no longer alive, mm. that he doesn't have to guard uh, uh, this part of Labrador Park anymore. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. So so that was really cool. That was a really good day. Mm. Wow. Yes. Nice man. Yeah, defo, defo, man. <laughs> okay, we we have one more here. Okay, from last one. Estelle, Estelle Lisa, please mm-hmm. invite me. I have a lot of stories to tell. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, man. If you if if you have a lot of story to tell, please do DM us on yeah. Uh, GFS. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Send us a direct message, and then uh, we will contact you. And the producers get involved, and all. We ask you questions, Mm-mm. and then you can come on the show. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well said, Noel boy. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all our viewers who care and love and are very loyal and dedicated to tune in to us every week, every Friday at Haunted Hour. Yeah, man. The support has been amazing and uh, the fan base is growing again. So, thank so you, that's thank always you, great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and thank you to those who bought us coffee. Of really course. appreciate Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. What, well, so what's the word for today? We should end every app now with like a word okay. word of the day. What's the code for today, bro? What What do you mean code? <laughs> the last episode you end with a code, right? Oh yeah, a <laughs> quote. Yeah, I don't have a a, a quote today. Uh, unfortunately, I, I I I I might have one. What? I might have one. Man, uh, in order for you to walk the right path, right mm. in your life, you need to come across the wrong path first. Hmm. In order for you to know the right path, you have to know the wrong path first. Yeah. You have to walk through it. Yeah. Yeah, only then... You, you will know which know. one is the right path. Lah. Yeah. But wow. hopefully, hopefully it's not too late. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Some some people might walk down that wrong path and might just do anything. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Or, or slide through it. Yeah, because yeah. if you do walk down that, that dark, lonely path, yeah, yeah, you have to learn how to come back out and... And, and make sure you never, ever, ever and find the yeah. find the light from the other door, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, that's deep, bro. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for sharing. For that. once, for once, huh? I look very intelligent here. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you sound intelligent. You still don't look intelligent, my brother. Uh, I'm the gundu one, ah, huh? <laughs> gundu one, wah, gundu one. A good, the gundu one and the. Eh, hey, gundu the... one is the. Eh, not not gundu one. Don't. Uh, the one's a Man City player, right? Gunduan, Gunduan lah. There's a there's a footballer name uh, Man City. I know it's a Man City number eight. 
I don't know man I, I don't I don't watch football Gundugan Gundugan lah Forget lah I forget his name already <laughs> Shanta says Word of the day Jangan tension Jangan tension Yeah oh, We... Super califragiliosis Blah 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 lah <laughs> You're trying to make it right <laughs> But you cannot lah <laughs> Cannot Fail man <laughs> But Just But just for our viewers like, We We every Friday We are just having fun here No yeah. tension for us also Yeah, yeah. We, we never had We never have any tension During this show lah Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, um, we 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 text each other mm. uh quite a bit on like the the day of show, especially <laughs> and uh, then we just banter, it's a lot yeah. of nonsense. So it starts from like in the morning, <laughs> and we <laughs> just nonsense all the way. Yeah, this kind uh, of uh message you cannot reveal online. Yeah, I hope our wives never ever look at the messages. That, <laughs> no, no, that, no, no, no. Because <laughs> that would be yeah. mental. Yeah, um, they will probably. Think differently of us. <laughs> they might think, eh? Hey, I I think my husband are leading a uh, dual life, lah. Mm, yeah, they might think that the husbands are not straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much again for all of you who are viewing. Thank you, thank you. Please do not forget like and share yeah. our podcast, uh, Haunted Hour. We are also uh, featured in YouTube and also Spotify and Apple Music. Yeah. Uh yeah, we're actually doing very well on uh on the Apple platform, mm. Mm-hmm. and also it's never too late to uh, buy us a coffee. I mean, as we said at the start of the app, mm. if you didn't watch it yet, or you didn't watch it then, mm. uh yeah, it just helps us with the small little things that we got to pay for, uh, regarding the show. Yeah, right, and so it helps with the motivation as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's at uh, buymeacoffee.com dot com slash gfs tv. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take my my bus ride home. Yeah. And to all of you, see you next week, yeah? Yeah, see you next week. Uh, take care and uh, be happy. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.